negative things, the frustrating negative things, you tell the team there are things that be corrected. Four turnovers was too much to overcome against a good team. Yeah, no way you can overcome that much uh, uh, negativity in your offense. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, I don't know, uh, we'll have to look at the tape and see. It just, uh, just looked like uh, we were, we maybe, maybe should have held on to one of them or thrown it away or both of them. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not, not blaming anybody. I think I think Corey really got put pressure once or twice when he threw him, threw him away, but to, tried to throw him away, it looked like, and he went right to him. But, you know, we can't, I mean, he knows it. I know it. Everybody knows it. You can't do that and win a game, not especially against a good team on, on far and so on and, and, uh, in a conference game. Positive point out of it too. You really got to like the way your team responded. Fell behind early, captured the lead, going into the locker room by one point, fought all the way to the end, even converting the fourth and 18. Wilson making a nice catch there, keeping the drive alive. Just again, just too much to overcome, but a lot that you can build off of when you go back and get back in Troy. Well, there's always there's a lot of positive stuff that went on. You know, uh, even defensively. You know, we I don't know. Uh, I, I thought we might be a little 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 better defensively against them, but they made a bunch of big plays and. They got us. They got us in a coverage where we couldn't. We couldn't uh, roll up on that side, and they, they hit us a bunch of times with, with shorter conversion type stuff, and made a couple of big balls uh, catches. And but uh, you know, and it, you know, there it, it, when it goes when it goes uh, south, sometimes it all goes south. We missed a PAT tonight, uh, first high snap we've had all year. And, uh, so you know, everybody's got to shoulder their their uh, part of the blame, and uh, I'll start with my show. And I got to ask one question too specific about Deion Anthony, a guy that you try to get any way you can. I mean, running the ball, throwing the ball deep. I mean, that guy's just saying, coach, put me in and I'll do whatever it takes for this football team. Yeah, he's a very good player. I looked over at one time, I thought he was he was sick. We had, we had run him so much, you know, and uh, but he, he is a competitor and uh, a fierce competitor and a very good player and can do a lot of things. Now the schedule, looking at it, stepping out of conference play for a couple of weeks. Trip to Starkville next week against Mississippi State. We follow that up with a trip to Duke. Um, how do you take that, get into it? It's a two quality opponents coming up, but opportunities to really get our feet back under some games that we could have a chance in if we go in there and do the little things right, which didn't happen tonight. Well, you know, if we don't, if we go to Mississippi State and or Duke, and we play a game where we don't turn it over, and we we do the things we can do offensively. And we take care of business and stop them some on defense, and we don't file up the kicking game. We got a chance to beat both, either one of them. But if we go and and and, and, uh, and create bad situations for ourselves in all three phases, and you know, we're not going to be able to beat anybody. And then, uh, you know, but, but uh, kids are playing hard. A lot of things. A lot of things we can. Uh, a lot of things we can uh, feel good about. These guys are playing hard. We just got to play smarter. Thanks a lot, Coach, for joining us. And safe travels back, and we'll see you next week in Starkville. Thank you.